Get Set View. Beam Rider by Activision. Designed by David Rolfe, it was released for the Atari 5200 in 1983. Up to four players take control of the Beam Rider vessel, and has to go through 99 sectors of the Restrictor Shield while destroying all alien ships, so you can rack up the points. You control your Beam Rider by moving it from side to side with the joystick, the bottom fire buttons will shoot regular laser larians, and the top fire buttons will shoot special torpedoes. The keypad is used to change the game configurations in numerous ways. The basic plot goes like this. A restrictor shield, whatever that may be, is surrounding the Earth. It is now up to you and the Beam Rider to go through a grand total of 99 sectors to reach it and destroy it, all the while destroying any foes that come your way. The game, as you may have noticed, has taken a few notes from Radar Scope and Juno first. I mean, when you compare them, they look similar, but I say this game took both of the other games and meshed it into one. In each sector, you have a certain number of ships that you'll need to destroy in order to move on. Some can be destroyed with your regular lasers, but others cannot and may require you to use your torpedoes, but that is for the worst case scenario. The main enemy saucers will fly along the grid and will sometimes come close to you. They'll hike back or warp back around when they get down to you, so you'll always have a chance to shoot those little buggers. When you destroy all the enemy saucers within one sector, you move on to the next with increased difficulty. Not before getting the chance to shoot a sector sentinel that'll require a well-placed torpedo to destroy. Every now and then a yellow rejuvenator will float about the beam matrix. If you're able to touch it, you'll receive an extra guy, but if you shoot it, it'll turn red and destroy you, taking away a life. And if you get hit by anything else at any time, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives and the game is over, but if you were able to reach Sector 14 with over 40,000 points back then and sent the proof to Activision, you would receive a patch for the Activision Beam Riders. Overall, this is a fun title, and the closest we could get to owning a game that was like this back in the day. Activision knew what was up. And stop. Boom Rider, designed by David Rolf for Activision. No relation, we suppose. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.